Well, how do there, chums? To Zai, Captain of the Steers. And as you can see, I'm back inside of No Man's Sky, and I'm in my Singularity update. Now, I have got some exosuit sort of expansion slots. Dang it! I didn't even make it up the ramp there, people. Anyway, let's jump on over into game. And I, I want to use those expansion slots for my exosuit. So here we go. Um, technology area is looking okay-ish, so I'm just going to put them down here. Yeah, we'll put them there. Upgrade exosuits. I should be able to do that a three more times. However, what I'm thinking, you see these? I could duplicate them, couldn't I, inside of my little uh, refiner. But I'm, uh, I'm not going to, but I could have done if I wanted to. I mean, in fact, I could keep that one. I could duplicate the heck out of it. Oh, no. I just put it in. There we go, people. Done, dilly, and done. So there is opportunities there to cheat a little bit more if you wanted to. Anyways, we're heading to a rendezvous three. And you've seen me do this a few times. It's just from the galactic map. So no, let's fly on out. I'll show you what I mean anyway. Yeah, just in case you haven't seen phases one and two. Phases one and two I did live. This one I'm going to be editing slightly. So here's the galactic map here we go i'm going to cut out all the boring bits basically is what i'm thinking but here you go i can jump all this way with my warp i guess i can now you guys might still have to use a couple of jumps to get there i duplicated my s class modules in the last one anyways i'll see you there people and i'll fly down to the rendezvous point at the planet as well Okay, well, we're coming into Rendezvous 3. And i'm already seeing quite a few bases in local proc summer Dad! um yeah there we go. Strongest reality distortion just got that and just appeared by my head. Anyway, I'm flying in fairly slow because I'm hoping to see the rendezvous point. I'm hoping it just renders in and pops in. But look how many bases there are around here, people. It's um it's a little bit crazy. Now I know that there are ways of getting bases closer to points of interest, but yeah. I've got my network cable plugged in again, people. Um just to see what sort of shenanigans take place yeah if my save gets scuppered again i'll probably be unplugging that cable but you can see look, there's a base computer there there's a base computer up there there's base computers everywhere so i guess people are fully aware of how you do that now anyway um i guess i'm gonna have to land in the approximate location because i'm still not seeing it now people do tell me that you can look at this and it will tell you roughly how close you are to where you need to be. So you can get a little bit closer and tuned in. But you know what? I'm just going to land and I'll see you at the rendezvous point. I'm probably going to have a fair bit of walking. Let's have a look at how much walking I've got to do and in what direction. Okay. Right up. That's not my scanner. That's my scanner. I've got to go 800 U's that way, people. And there's a freaking storm. I'll see you there. Okay, chums, well, I've narrowed into the location. I was using my glitch running technique, which you fire a shot of the bolt cast, and then you can press reload and melee at the same time to run like the wind. I guess. There you go, run like the wind. We have arrived, located at this third camp. Sweet. Expedition. And we're on phase three, as I said at the start. We've already done a couple of badges in here in phases two and one. There we go. Lovely. Sweet. Did that give me some more? Yes, look, I've got multi-tool expansion slots. And I've also got storage augmentation for Starship. I could I could duplicate those, you know. Why why not? Rich and heck yes. Could have lots of storage if I wanted to. And exosuit expansion times five. Lovely jubbly. Alright, fine. Now let's scan again. Oh, it's telling me to go to this for some reason. I don't think I need to go to this, but... Okay. Hit this up. Okay, oh, it's giving me something. I think it's giving me a blueprint or something, isn't it? Sweet. Scan memory register. Okay, so 7 minus 2 is 5. 5. 3 plus 8. 9, 10, 11. 5, 11. 16. 5, 11, 16. 5, 11, 16. 5, 11, 16. Oh. 5.11.16 and it's done that again so we don't. I don't really know why I need the map I'm going to talk to this little guy hello little guy I'm not sure I need to okay, we'll try and we'll probe his memory let's see what he comes up with I guess this is different 15 
5, 15, 5, and 11. 15, 5, 11. 15, 5, 11. 15, 5, 11. 15, 5, 11. Dum, dum, dum. 15. Five. And. Eleventeen. There we go. Sweet. Sweet. Yes, please. Void glass and all sorts of other stuff going on there. Uh, the realm of glass. The void mother. Will we ever see that happen? Oh, there we go. Spoke to autophage. Lovely. Well, at least I did that. Cool, yeah. Construct shell schematic. Movement system upgrade. Lovely. pre pattern Nice. Okay, so we're going to have to build this now. Darn it! We need crystal sulfide. The only place you can get crystal sulfide is in oceans, people. Oceans, I tell thee. Life support gel. Okay. All right. Can I make two life support gels? We'll give it a go. Well, we can't cr create that little construct at the moment. So, oh, let's get some of this installed, shall we? Let's we'll stick that in there. Let's move the glove out of the way. Let's move that there and move that there. Can I repair this? Oh, I'm going to need a lot to repair that. Okay, fine. I'll get this installed. Chikapow. Okay, we can't yet, but I have got expansion slottage, so that's cool. We'd have to go to a station and input all those other slots that I just got, peeps. Yeah, I think I might go do that now before we press on with doing anything else. Yeah, so I'm just going to pop up to the station... And at the station, we'd implement some of those ex storage expansions. I'll see you at the station. Before I do that, though, I just had a look at what I need to actually construct those life support gels. And it's dehydrogen that I need. Now, I'm going to need, like, a few of them. I need two of them. So I need to get a little bit more dehydrogen so I can create it just in case. Because I'm thinking if I do go to the station, I might just be able to buy those life support thingies from the actual trade terminal but yeah let's let's just zap this quickly no oh, great all right mining beam i'm just gonna get some dehydrogen before i go up to the station just in case i can't buy those life support packs okay so i'm just gonna get a little bit more dehydrogen uh, uh, there's some crystals over there isn't it was no that's flowers why is there this whole freaking abundance of flowers all right fine i'll just get some more of the dehydrogen and then i'll see you at the station Okay, well, I've arrived, located at the station. Let's go and expand my multi-tool slottage, I guess. Because I've got another neutron cannon that I can stick in there, so might as well. We go do that first. Head on over there. Hello. Yes, yeah, just after some slottage. There we go. Yes, I wanted it there. That's cool. I have it there. I also want one here. You can actually select the slots you want to unlock, so... Just be mindful of that, people. Nah, I'll stick one there as well, then. Lovely jobs. Let's get a node over here. Sweet. We didn't uncover any more supercharged slots, unfortunately. All right, we'll stick that in there. Can I do that again? I guess I can. There we are. And I can also do the same with my starship. Upgrade staff to the ship. Apply augmentations. And I think we're going to need a little bit up inside of technology. We'll stick one there. Yeah, I think I'll put it all in technology, actually. Yeah, I'll just go to town on technology. There we go. Okay, and that's, that's pretty much that. But I have got a couple of modules now, haven't I, that I can actually implement. So I've got this one over here. Might as well stick that in there. Paralyzed mortar shell thing. Uh, what else we got? Um, okay, yep. Got this so we can stick in there. Put that there. Lovely jobs. Any more in my exosuit? Any more for any more? I think we're good. I think that's all the slottage done. I think we've got all the modules installed. I think we're good to continue on with our little mission here, people. So, saying that, let's have a look what we've got to do. We've got to make this shell... And to make this shell, I'm going to need to jump into the oceans. Before I jump into the oceans, I'm just going to check the Galactic Trade Terminals here to see if they sell anything that I like and see if there's anything I want to sell. And then I'll be back with you. I'll be heading towards a planet that has oceans. Okay, now some of my technology did get damaged during a little bit of a scupper with um, 
the old sentinels so i'm buying a wiring loom and i'm going to buy anything else i might need to actually fix my exosuit back up as well people so i'm trying to get the repairs done if you're not sure what i'm on about i need to repair this so i need some carbon nanotubes i need a wiring loom hence the purchase of the wiring loom and i also need to fix this and i need 50 sodium to do that which i might have to pick a sodium plant or two on a planet well, the only planet in the system that has water was that one that I was on, by the looks of things. So I'm going to be heading back down to there. I'm just trying to get to the light side so I can see where the oceans are. So I'm just flying around the planet at the moment. There's quite a lot of freaking things to lock onto there. Okay, now I can see the big swathes of ocean here. So I'm going to head on down this way. Hopefully find a little island I can land on out at sea. And then we'll be jumping into the oceans to get our crystalline sulphide. I found myself a lovely little island, but we need to find the sulphide. So let's jump on into the oceans and let's see if we can find this, shall we, people? Wow, it's a nice deep ocean. We shouldn't have a problem finding it. Now, we usually find some sort of marker that would denote the sulphide. Hmm, there we go. That's what we're looking for. But it looks like my luck, it might be buried under the ground. Oh no, look, it's just around this corner. It's sitting off at an angle. Now these things fire out jets of really hot gas. It will vibrate quite rapidly when it's about to do it. There you go, look, I'm going to need to get out of the way. Let it do its thing. Go on, boom, there you go. And then I can swim down and grab another one. Okay, um, It's at a bit of a weird angle though, isn't it? There we are, we'll grab that one. I'm, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to get the other one. There's three on each of these. So there we go. Now, technically, I could have just got one. And then I could have duplicated them in my um, refiners, like I showed in episodes one and two. Excuse me, I sneezed. I sneezed pretty violently. Ah, that hurt the back of my neck. Oh, dear me. Like whiplash from sneezing. What's that all about? Only budge. Okay, anyway. I soldier on because I'm tough. Oh, man. Okay, right, we've got this to go now. So life support gel, I need two of those. I think I can actually craft the life support gels. If I crave craft two of them, I should be able to craft the life support gels. I need two of them. There we are. The last thing I need is magnetized of the ferrite. Okay, well, if I go into here, jump into my... I can grab this chromatic metal out of there. I should be able to put in pure ferrite. That would give me the magnetic kind. I know, right? I'm freaking awesome. Stick that in there. Get it a bit more charged up. It's going to take 15 seconds of my time. How much magnetic ferrite did I need, though? I only need 210. That means I might have to throw in some normal ferrite to go to ionized fire ferrite to turn it into magnetized ferrite. Okay, we'll put that. Okay, fine. We'll go in here then. We grab that out of there. Oh, we've only got 82 of it. Hmm, okay. Well, I, I will put in the rest of my ferrites. Here we go. Lovely, lovely ferrite. Stick that in there. That's going to turn to pure ferrite. Pure ferrite to magnetized ferrite. Okay, that's going quickly. And I'm hoping to get at least 100. That'd be nice. And I only have to duplicate it once. That's a lot of freaking magnetized ferrite to be hunting down, isn't it? Right, so what I would do now, if I get my portable refiner, stick my portable refiner there. I mean, I could go and get, my, I could go shoot a load of rocks. You're quite right, people in the universe. But there we go. I stick, I stick my magnetized ferrite in there, and I get another one of these, and I'm going to stick it directly on top, directly on top. This is how you do the uh, duplications. So I'm going to stick it directly on top like that. And I'm just going to pick it up. And you should see here. I've now got 198. Yeah, so if I put it back down again, put that 198 in there, it's going to be a little overkill. Put another one directly on top of it. It's like being the spriffing Brit, isn't it? He's, also, he's always into the skullduggeries. Pick it back up again. Lovely. Now I've got more than enough than I need. Okay, jump in my ship. Just to weather out the storm. And now I should have everything I need to construct the body. There we go. Body constructicated. Now, I didn't manage to do all of the repairs. I still need some sodium. 
but I'm on a little tiny island. I very much doubt there's going to be a sodium plant in near proximity for me to grab. Let's just do a scan. Oh, get, get the badge off the screen. Oh, man, my scanner's going to have to recharge now, isn't it? Dang it! Okay, right, here we go. Let's um, claim that reward anyway. Lovely job, please. And I might as well get that installed while I'm waiting for my scanner to blink and do its thing now. Okay, well, I might as well chuck that over there. Oh, I'm going to have to put it up there then. Fine. I mean, that's slightly... Bro I put it there for the moment. I need to get this one fixed. I need the sodium to do that. Yeah, I, I don't think there'd be any sodium plants on this little, little land space that I'm on. So I'll just have to get that the next time I land people somewhere else on the planet. Anyway, we're going to hit on up the next badge, which is Commune with the Atlas. I'm not going to find any sodium in there. Oh, well. We'll just press on then, people. See you up at the actual Atlas station. It's not going to be... I'm going to have to go to the galactic map, and I'm going to have to jump all the way over to the Atlas. So here we go. Boom. And all I've got to do now is lock it in. Lovely, lovely. Like so. And I'll see you over there, people. I'll see you inside of the Atlas station. Well, chums, I'm in this lovely crimson red room with this freaking scary giant bauble from space. Yes, let's head on over. Let's grab ourselves the free warp fuel if there's any on the pedestals. There are. I'm having this. This is mine. Oh, it won't let me interact with it. Oh, it's probably because of um, multiplayer shenanigans, isn't it? I should have left that freaking cable taken out. Even though I've got it disabled... It would appear that I'm not getting any free freaking warp fuels. All right, fine, I'll duplicate some, maybe. Right, hello there. Yes, at this of loveliness. There you go. I've presented you the body of this wonderful robot I'm building. It's a rusty piece of cack, I know, right? Yes, what have you asked me to create now? I need ionised cobalt. I have actually kept a little bit of cobalt. I don't think I've got a great deal. But um, I might have enough. Let's give it a go. Cobalt, cobalt. Now I got the cobalt from inside of a cave. There we are. Let's get that on the bake. Let's see if we can get enough, shall we, people? It's going to take 20 seconds of my time. It's not going to take 20 seconds of yours. Oh, the power of editing is like magic, but shitter. Right, here we go. We'll grab that. We'll put that inside of here. Lovely jubbly. And I should be able to now create the Seed of Will. Yes, the Seed of Will has now been created, Which means I have popped a badge. Yes, I have. Like a Cub Scout. Yes, uh, here we go, over here. Claim that one. Brilliant. Oh, no. If you claim stuff while you're walking, it does auto-walking. Look at that. He's just up on a freaking jolly. All right. Yeah, I've already done that. I've already, I've already created the Seed of Will. Ha! I can claim that as well. There we are. Done. Fragmented qualia. Activated idiom. Ooh, rich in resources, are we? Head on over here. You can claim this badge as well now. Wow, lovely. We've got crystallized drone plans. Yes, little purple crystals with um, sentinels jutted onto them that you can put at your base. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, little dead sentinels covered in crystals. That's what everybody wants for their birthday present, isn't it? It's not even my birthday. This game is spoiling me. Right, well, that's all of Phase 3 done right there, people. Phase 3, done, dilly, and done. So, I'm going to be moving on to Phase 4. I might as well try and get all of Phase 4 done inside of this video. Maybe do Phase 5 as a se separate one, but we might as well just do this. Okay, right, complete this pilgrimage. Right, oh, we'll go do that then, people. Actually, you know what? I've already got Phase 2 and Phase 1 as separate videos. So, you know what? I'll just go and fly into a station so I can create a save there. And um, I think I'll end this video here. And, ah, fudge and heck. Got out of my ship by accident. Anyway, I'll see you in the station and I'll end this video properly. Oh, as I was flying to the station, I got a message from this little guy. Hello, little guy probe structure. There we go. We've got a load of freaking didgeridoos there. I'm going to shoot the fudge out of it until it starts smoking. Take that, you! There you go. Chicka boom I'm not going to overly shoot it because I would have shot the station and then they would have sent evil at me, people. Evil. When I say evil, lots of sentinel ships would have flown at me. Yeah, don't shoot the station. If you know what's good for you, don't shoot it. 
Right, let's fly on in then. I'm gonna just going to see if there's any um, navigational data. You know, the little flat disks and the, the crystal-y type cubes. In fact, I'll show you what I'm looking for while I'm in here. And what else am I going to be looking for? I'm going to see if I've got any um, expansion slots that I can install on my ship and all that sort of stuff. I might have been rewarded some, who bloody knows. Right, let's go leg it over here. And I'd, let's have a look, see if there's any navigational data inside of here. I'll show you what I'm looking for. If there is, let's just go and expand my suit. Yeah, this is going to cost me money, as I think, isn't it? I haven't got enough monies! Not enough monies! Okay, I could try and sell stuff, but I'm scared to sell stuff after what happened to my freaking... Yeah, I sold a quad servo. Went very wrong. Well, I just picked up that little blue cube. It gave me nanites, but I was hoping it would give me navigational data. Navigational data is quite handy, and I'm not getting any, you know. It's either the blue cubes or the orange cubes. Sometimes they'll give you navigational data every single station you go in. Just have a look to see if you can get some. If you don't, you're going to get nanites anyway, which are going to come at handy at some point if you want to continue, continue on with this save. Sometimes there's some cubes over this side. Sometimes you see these little flat black discs. They look like hockey pucks. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything really. Sometimes they're on the counters as well of some of these chappies on the opposite side. But I didn't see any this time. Anyway, I think that's a reasonable stopping point. I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship. Because I just netted myself a few more nanites. Just to create that auto save. Which is that little weird thing you saw in the corner. And that's pretty much phase four free done isn't it so next episode i'll be doing phase four so phase three complete coated i guess we're awesome i'm not just talking about me i'm talking about you guys and the viewer of us if you're following these steps and you're now at this point you're awesome too we've got two days remaining to get the last two phases done we should be able to do it people salute to mondo goodbye goodbye and goodbye again